I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, near me. Officer, then don't come don't in my come home. Near me. Now. Women can be scary sometimes in terms of relationships. In this video, we are going to look into some encounters where cops rescued boyfriends from their toxic partners. On the 17th of June, 2022, the police department received a complaint about domestic disturbance from an apartment complex. Cops were dispatched to the location where they encountered a couple fighting over money. The female was later identified as Valerie. When the officer knocked at the door several times, there was no response, but there was a sound of two people fighting with each other. The door finally opened and Valerie wasn't happy about the law enforcement officers at her front door. That's for his police department! So we're not gonna close the door. I'm not, yes I am. This is my home. I didn't open it for you, he did. I am not opening this door to you. Who lives here? I do. So I said no, nobody's opening the door to the cops here. I do not. No, you know. leave. Okay. And I'm done. My God. No. And what's the relationship? Where ex is, just lost his child. Yeah. Friends. Friends don't, please get out of my house. I did not invite you in. I have, you do Don't not do have, that. I'm here for you, a domestic okay, that, disturbance. No, but you do not have a right to enter okay. my home unless I've invited you. Okay. You no, do not have a warrant. Is, is I did not open my door to you. He opened it to leave. I, I understand. Then bring your supervisor, but I want him that gone. you don't want to talk to me? That's great. I'm not talking and to anybody. that's fine. Okay. I'm done for the night. He can leave. Okay. As he wanted. Goodbye. So there's another option on the way. No. You can tell me that you're not giving me STDs because you're a bitch without a rubber like you promised. You can, I don't know, give me the 120 plus dollars that you owe me. And then I'll give you your bike back. No, like you agreed no, months ago. No. But oh no, because it's always a lie to you. Please leave. Didn't you guys call the police? I did. Valerie claimed that her boyfriend, Gilbert, had given her an STD and owed her money. None of it was making sense as the main reason for cops to be here was a domestic disturbance. Get the supervisor now. I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, near me. then don't come don't in my home. Come near me. Now. Okay. I'll call 911 again. Do we need to do this? Go, go ahead. Great. Get out of my house, please. Go ahead. Get out of my house. I have by don't, every right in law. You do not have a do not no, you do not have a right to come in my home. You, I'm not touching you. But you don't have a right to be in my home without a warrant. Get out, please. You are not invited in by the homeowner. No. Goodbye. That's great. Please step outside my door. Now. Now, sir. I did not invite you into my home. I did not invite you in my home. You are now trespassing without a warrant. Exit my home. Doorstep now. No, get out of my house! How are you gonna threaten me in my house? He does not. I did not invite him in. He does not get to walk in my house. This is. He no. He doesn't have a warrant. He needs to get. He's threatening me, and I'm no. It's a domestic issue. I did not. I want your badge number, card. No, I want the card, please. I didn't invite you to my home, and you are breaking the law. You have no right to enter a dwell thing at all. Without permission. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep going. Ma'am, please do not come. Do in. not come into my house and tell me what I can and can't do. You are not invited in. I did not give you permission to be here. Now you are trespassing and threatening me. The conversation continued, but Valerie stayed uncooperative towards the cops. Police officers asked her boyfriend to wait outside. As the investigation continued, it was clear that the main suspect in this domestic issue was Valerie. I need to call. Okay, so what's going on? She trapped me in the house. We've argued before. Um, but, uh, she, she's like assaulted me before. Um, obviously, I can't touch her. I can you know, I don't want to uh, be physical with her. Whatever. And um, is she your girlfriend? She like an ex. Hang out with his friends, and um, she didn't have to go to work this morning at like 5:30. I do house painting, and um, when I started to leave, she just like started going off on me, and just would block the door and just you know, you can't do this, and, blah, blah, blah. and she took my bike. I came around, but I need my bike. Um, and uh, did it get physical at any point? In time? No. Okay. What What is it that you need? Do you just I just trying to leave. I was just trying to leave, but she was threatening me. Valerie's boyfriend claims that he just wanted to take his bicycle, but she was making a big deal out of it. 
please leave my doorway. You do not have a warrant. You are not invited in. You are this close to being arrested for resistance. You're inside my house. Surprise. Stop. I'm not resisting. You stop. You're you are resisting. resisting. No, right now I am because you're hurting me. Sir. Stop. I will let you handcuff me. Stop. Put your hands back. I've your done back. this Put before. I will. Your back. Will you stop? Put your hands back your back. I said I will. You do not need to use excessive force. You came into my home with you're, no invitation. You were under arrest for resisting and obstructing. I understand? did not do anything. Okay. Hey, can I, can I can I not deal with him anymore? Please let him. No, he has been nothing. Please stop! Don't You're hurting me. I will get out. I have a broken toe. We're stop! Walking, we're walking to my. No, my son now. is inside this apartment. Please get me out of these cuffs. I will. Stop I will cooperate. Please get me out of these cuffs now. You're not cooperating. I will. What you haven't. Hey, but I'm freaking out. Okay. I have a son. I had an officer walk into my home without my permission. Please get these off of me. I am protecting my child and myself. Please, I didn't, he walked into my home without my permission. I did not open my door to him. He does not have a warrant. Please stop. You're under arrest for me. Officers arrested Valerie as soon as they got the chance to. Her behavior abruptly changed from stubbornness to extreme apologies. Thank Sit you. Sit down. You guys don't understand. I'm not trying to resist anything. You guys are threatening me. He came in my home and threatened me. Okay, so. I did not know? invite that officer into my home. While this chaotic arrest was happening, another man arrived at the scene and claimed that he was a neighbor who lived downstairs and was worried about the children. You live here? Are our kids going to be okay? You live here? I, I live downstairs. Okay, downstairs. We'll, we'll talk to you in a minute. Can you hang out downstairs for me? A cop was dealing with the neighbor, but at the same time, another cop was trying his best to calm down Valerie so they could continue their investigation, but she kept arguing, shouting, and resisting. Can I please have these off? I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay. I swear to you, I have a baby right there. Right and now? Two of my right now, those ghosts are going to stay. I, I would like to smoke a cigarette. No, I'm going to. I need you to calm down for I'm, me. I'm going to. I'd like to smoke a cigarette so to breathe, do that, please. So breathe, breathe. Can you get the cuffs Those off Those cuffs aren't coming off until you're calmed sir, down. Sir, can you listen real quick? Okay. I can calm down if you take these off of me, please. Okay, they're not coming down. Please, sir. I have been okay. sexually abused by a cop my entire fucking life. Okay. Can you well, please that, get these off of that me? That is not going to but happen this isn't right now, okay? That's why I'm okay. saying I can calm down to me. Just even unhook one. Just okay? calm down. Can you please just unhook one. I don't think you understand. Just calm down for me. Like, how do you not understand PTSD? Like, okay. please. Calm down. Please. When one of the officers returned after investigating her boyfriend, he encountered the neighbor who was concerned about the children. He started looking for the child, but found only one. Valerie did not have one, but three children. The other two were nowhere to be seen. Yes, uh, I'm uh, her downstairs neighbor. I'm wanting to know her. I know uh, her kids. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. yes. And yeah, they're fine. I'm going to put an eye on them. I'm going to okay, okay. okay. check on them right now. Sir, he's okay. not somebody that can okay. be talked to like a human being. So, no, hey, no, please let me finish. Please let me finish. It's different with your guys' attitudes and his, okay? He does not have permission to go in my house, okay. Okay. sir, please. Okay, we're, we're, we're done with this. I'm just standing just, just sit down I'm, No, me. I'm just, I'm breathing. You told me to calm down. Sir, just please let me. Stay, I'm stay melting. Seated, okay? Can I please stay go? Stay seated. Can I please breathe? I'm trying to breathe. He's walking through my house. He is in the sun. Valerie. James, Valerie, can I help? Your kids. How many children does she have? Three and two. She has three kids. I only see one. The officer removed her cuffs, but as soon as he did it, Valerie stood up again to resist. Looking at her stubborn behavior, the officer had to make another decision. I mom, it's not. I can't. I can't breathe. Just put get, it back on this one. Two girls. No, sir. And one I, boy. I'm staying in cuffs. Get up. Can I please not have a bun in my? It's just nice to be with you in the front. You said if I call. She has three you children. Know. Yeah. Yes. Do you not hear me speak to you, sir? I said I have three. I have three children. I I'm not one. resisting Where anything. I, I just see said one in the sir, bedroom. Sir, yeah. I just said the other two she are with somebody for the night. Okay, good, good. They're coming here at six in the morning. Okay, can I, good. Can I please just take a fat ticket? Anything, please don't. Please, this. I have nothing but them. Yeah. I will. I will do anything, please. Okay. Guys. I'm calm. Have I, a seat and calm down. I apologize. Okay. Please. please. So only one child is in here, sir. I'm not going to slip. I'll leave it. Wanna... Just, no, don't do anything tighter, please. I will not slip it. I promise. I promise. Okay. Please don't. Please don't. Hey, hey, please, you guys name? are not dealing with my Do not hurt that you're I have already been mm -hmm. lupus. You are literally killing my shit right now. Please stop. 
Please just stop. I will be good. I'll sit right here. Just please. Stop. Is there any PC? Please no, stop. No, okay. I ain't got nothing. All right. He just wants his bike. Can I just sit okay. right here? Get it, get it. Oh, thank you. No, seriously, you're cutting off circulation. You're cutting off circulation. Stop yelling. You don't even have the cuff on. Stop. It's right here. It's cutting in. Stop. You don't understand that it hurts so much. All right. Hey. Listen to me, okay? I hear, no, that's perfect. If you Thank calm you. down for me, these if are gonna come off. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Can you understand? That You're I'm the one PTSD yelling at us, okay? I'm having a PTSD triggers right I now. Need you to stop. I am not trying to be out of control. Okay. I am really breathe. just having serious PTSD issues. Breathe. Did you, you need any medical me. attention, ma'am? Just breathe. I can't deal with all the questions. Can I? You need medical attention. You guys keep it up, then. Oh, please stop. If you want medical attention, we can do it. Look that way, okay? I'm. You're in my space, okay. please. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna talk to you, you really quick, okay? Can you let me breathe for just two minutes? Breathe. I'm talking. Can I just... Please, breathe. and then I will... Just don't yell anymore. Then do you guys have to stop jumping down my throat? Okay. I've done nothing wrong. I put no hands on anybody. Okay. Everything's gonna be all right. We're all on camera here. Nothing's gonna happen Great, then I wanna know. I want... Nothing's gonna happen here. way he treated Relax. me came in my home. I did not invite anybody into my home. Can I explain to you something? Can I talk? One of the officers confronted the neighbor again to proceed with the investigation and started questioning him. He also made clear that Valerie was not going to be arrested and would be here with her kids. Were you up here earlier, sir? I'm sorry? Were you up here earlier? No. Oh, okay. Is there anything else that we can help you with? Oh, I, I want to make sure her kids are going to be all right. Yeah, as a matter of fact. You know, when they're going to come back from wherever they are and uh -huh. stuff like that, uh, I need to know if the, the, she's going to be here for them and stuff, or anybody's going to be here for yeah, them. Yeah, she's going to be here for them. She's she's not going to jail. All she's going to get is a ticket, okay? Okay. Okay, so thank you. Yeah, her, uh, her, her boy's going to be okay. It's not just her boy. She's right, got her two girls children. here. She's going to be here when her other two children get in. Valerie made a cop light a cigarette for her, as she wouldn't be calm unless she smoked. Till this point, cops were trying to be as nice as they could. They were handling everything by the law. You get it. I'm not, I don't want to fight. I just, uh, just, just have a seat. We'll get it. Let's do, this. Let's do this first so you can relax, it's, yeah? My son's back there. Can I at least be by the curtain? Yeah, we'll get in a minute. Let's, let's, Lighter's right let's there. Let's help you relax, though, okay? And it should just be... I don't want that other guy back in here, but it's right back to the blanket. It's fine. Just take a seat, smoke that, relax a little bit. I obviously can't get you anything. It's not a New Mexico ID. Will you give him your social? You said you said I just it gave it. Where is it from? Colorado. When Valerie calmed down, she finally explained her relationship with Gilbert. Valerie insisted that he owed her money and wanted to keep his bike until he paid her back. So what's going on with the bike and everything? Can you give me a rundown of what the story is, why we're here? Well, man's 42 years old and got me pregnant. Okay. And moved him out of his trailer. He was cheating on me, still helped him, he lived with me. How long have you, have you guys been back at We were, yeah, pretty much for over a year. A year, okay. And um, he owes me money, and I literally asked him, if you're gonna be the people, can you please wear condoms? Mm -hmm. He refused to answer. I said, that's kind of mm -hmm. That is my body too. Sure. I have every right to know. Yeah. He's like, I, I'm not dealing with this, and right. tries to leave. And I'm like, you need to at least give me that. That's okay. it. Oh, you're threatening me. You're trying to keep me here. I was like, because I want to really so answer. Was this, was this today that this the, argument yeah. happened? Okay. Just now. So what? what did he have the bike here and you kicked him out, or what, what exactly I told happened? him, I was like, I can, I'll can, i keep the bike until you pay me my $120 plus that you said you pay me did, did, for was, months now. Did he leave on his own, or did you make him leave, or what, what happened? He, the cops knocked, and he was like, answer the door. I was like, I'm not answering the door. He, he answered the door, and I said, go. Got you. Then the cops stepped in my house and threatened me. To take the investigation by law, cops further inquired about her children and their agents. Valerie at first refused, then gave all the information to the cops. You have two girls and a boy, right? I really... I just need to get their names, date of birth. Why do you need that? They're not I involved it. in this case. I need it because they're in the household. Is CPS okay? being called? Anybody who's Is in the CPS household? Anybody be, who's in the household? You, uh, sir, I heard you. Okay. I heard you. I asked you a question, though. Okay. I'm not ignoring yours, okay. but I asked you a question. Okay. Are you calling CPS? We're just making a report. It's, so, it's for the okay, police but report. But are you 
reporting this. And yes, ma'am, I am. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That's all I needed. Okay. Can I Thank get? You. Can it, let's start with the boy. They already have all their names. Okay. Well, I need it. Jackson. I would like to know, officer, real quick, um, what you are reporting accusational wise to CPS, please. Uh, reference to a domestic disturbance. And so, what does that conclude with CPS? I guess. Does that open a whole case? It's just for their information. So it's, it's up to them. It's really okay. up to them. Okay. okay. Thank that's No, I appreciate. I just need to know. Yeah. I just need to know. Is it Nicolette with two T's? Double T's? I'm a very literal autistic girl, so please don't say they're going to come off like a big letter. So. Once we're done here, they're going to Then we're off. done. I've yeah. given you everything. We're not done. My partner still is working on some stuff. Can, okay. I don't Once need to we're be. Done. Okay. But I'm saying. Those clothes are going to come off. That's not how you reported it. That's how I. That's how I explain it. Okay, but I'm not in any danger. You said when I calm down. Even earlier, you said when I calm down, you'll take them off. Okay. I've I've done that. Please let them come off. We're gonna. No, wait. officer, you, okay. you kind of gave me your word. Okay. Can I please have them off? Let's just relax. Okay, We're so can you, can you at least look at me and admit like you lied? Two, like can one you, more minute. Two let's more admit minutes. that you just told me a lie because you did say earlier I when said I calm down. We're done. They were gonna. Come actually, off. you said when I calm down, they'll come off. Okay. Multiple times. <laughs> I'm just saying though, but please don't do that to people. Ma'am. I'm not. I'm not trying to argue. I'm no. Being calm. I'm just saying. Can I speak, please? You've been like this the whole night, and this is what started. We're going to take the handcuffs off. I'm going to have you sit down, and I'm going to explain the citation to you, okay? And these charges. Sure, absolutely. Finally, Valerie was freed from the cuffs. While cops were explaining the whole situation and the citation she was going to receive. I wish you would have done this the first time. Sir, you threatened me in my home. That's how I felt. You may not have perceived it that way, but that... That's exactly how I felt, and it would not have happened that way. So please, maybe next time, just take down the cop back attitude because it would have gone a lot differently. I don't. I would have worked. I was not mad at you, but because, hold on. I think I know my house is a mess. Uh -huh. Excuse me. I am really trying. So there's something. Eventually, Valerie was charged with resisting or obstructing and domestic disturbance. She wasn't arrested, but cops issued a citation for her charges. Valerie was just verbally abusive with her boyfriend, but this next case will leave you stunned. <laughs> On the 18th of February, 2023, several Oshkosh police officers responded to a disturbing 911 call where a victim was stabbed 19 times by his girlfriend. The suspect was later identified as 22-year-old Morgan Taylor Lund. When cops finally reached the location, they found the boyfriend lying helpless on a sofa, covered in blood, screaming for help. Morgan was seen standing right beside him. Just the three of you? Okay. The ambulance is downstairs. Uh -oh. The cops then pulled Morgan to a side for investigation. She was out of her senses and didn't even try to explain the whole incident properly. Instead, she was seen just talking about her dreams and things she saw in her imagination. I don't know, I was like, yeah, I'm away. I bring her out here every morning, you know, I'm a Uh-huh. And I mean, I've seen the same thing before. I've never done anything thing. like that. You have seen the same thing before. Have you ever had any kind of medical treatment or anything like that? Have you seen a doctor, a psychologist? Morgan tells the cops how she has mistaken her boyfriend for a mysterious figure and stabbed him. <laughs> and you, and you what? I finally fell asleep and I was seeing all these weird things. Oh no, blood all <laughs> But you don't remember coming back out, but you do remember seeing something like in my head though, I don't, I don't want to be real. And that's what I was like, what is going on? I didn't know what was happening. Soon after this conversation, another officer takes a picture of Morgan's hands and feet that were all covered in blood. The investigation continued with Morgan where she explained how she has to experience hallucinations and out of body experiences. What you were seeing, like, Big or small, black or white, gray, blue, whatever. Like a, like a blob. Like a blob. Like a black blob. Like a blob, but like a finger. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I have something. I have something wrong. Do you see a dark figure? But it doesn't look like a person. Am I understanding that right? It's just sort of the, 
the shape. I can hear, I can hear, I can hear him. Yeah. And then I came out and I saw something, like, over him. So I don't know, like, what was, like, real and what's not real. Dreaming. But the other experiences that you've had have been when you were awake? Yeah, we're like half awake. Okay. Right before you went to bed or right after you woke up? Both. Both. But it no, usually... Never do that right. That. Yeah. But it's usually that same sort of dark figure that you see? Yeah. While an officer was busy investigating Morgan, another officer arrived at the scene to question Morgan's brother, Ethan, who was taking care of Morgan's newborn. Ethan was staying at their house when their fight started. He was the one who called the cops as well. I thought they were just fighting like normal. And then it starts getting loud, loud. What the hell? Was he screaming back at her? <sighs> it was kind of like a... I don't even know, like, get off me, help. I, I just and that was remember. him saying that? I don't even remember. Okay. And open the door. They're on top of each other. Honestly, what do you mean? On, so they both were on top of each other? He was like on top of her trying to take the knife out of her hand or something. I don't know. Okay. So, he, okay, how was she positioned? Like, when you say when he was on top of her, was he like straddling her? Yeah, he like had a wrist down. And then holding her wrist, like straddling yeah. her like that? Okay. And then. Was he bleeding area at that time? Yeah. Where was he bleeding? Where'd you see? His arm and stuff, and then I'd seen the couch. Help. Go over there. I don't even know. She's, that was like when I was ending. Okay. Was she saying anything at this time? She's just freaking out. I don't know. She's saying she doesn't know what happened. She, that she was seeing stuff, having a dream or something. Ethan also confirmed that her sister wasn't mentally okay, as she was seeing abnormal things. I think since she's had a kid, because they... That's their kid? Yeah, and then... Oh, the cops then turned toward Morgan to inform her that from now on, she is under arrest. Morgan kept crying and asking the officers what would happen next. Do you know what's gonna happen? We don't know. Genuinely like, not. What's most likely in this, in this? We don't ever know. Yeah, be honest. Like, we've like been lying to you before. Honestly, my dad worked for a prison for so long, and I work at the mental health institute. I, I've seen like things like this, and I, I just want to know like what's most likely gonna happen to me. I've been doing this for 12 years, and I've never been in this situation before. No. So, this exact situation, and I mean, each like, one is a little bit different. So, but okay. this exact what, situation. What I will ask, not to intervene, but yeah. if your mom and dad are outside, they're going to so take gonna a little bit. Is it possible, Miles, to cuff her at the vehicle? Sure, where is it? They're outside. Okay. They're just, I just don't want them to see. At first, Morgan pleaded not guilty because of insanity back in March, but later pleaded no contest to aggravated battery and second degree endangering safety. In November, a Wisconsin judge sentenced her to seven years behind bars, plus five years of extended supervision. Her ex-husband claimed that he still didn't know why she stabbed him intentionally in front of their daughter. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Today, we got to see disturbing cases where women got abusive and did the unthinkable with their boyfriends. Particularly concerning and terrifying was the second case where a girl stabbed her boyfriend 19 times. It's a relief that cops got to her and she is in jail. However, it's very important to ensure that these women get the mental help they require. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.